skies. So pretty interesting cloud formations pushing through all day, giving you a good idea of those upper level winds, lower level winds, and then how much moisture we're holding on to as we make our way into those colder temperatures. Now the Concho Valley is holding on to a lot of moisture and warmer temperatures when you compare that to the rest of the nation that's looking at those freezing temperatures that they see during the day. Right now we did see those freezing temperatures push through last night. And of course we're talking about this wave. Now I show you the 24 hour temperature change to show you those fluctuations between those colder temperatures and those warmer temperatures during the day. And we're going to continue to deal with these waves as we can see a huge one push through by about Thursday. Right now 46 in San Angelo feels a lot colder than that. Everybody else joining us in a good combination of those mid 40s across the entire area. Now we did see some uneven cooling around sunset but right now everybody kind of pushing their way into a more uniform cooling. Still seeing a few pockets of relatively warmer air move across to the east. Now we're watching some colder air push in from the west with that bigger storm setting up by Thursday. We can see some prefrontal warming pushing us up into the 60s if not 70s but the drop behind it pretty cold into those 30s. December definitely knocking on our door. Right now when we look across the national average talking about those colder temperatures you would usually watch this cold pocket start to slide off to the east a little bit but Minneapolis really just dealing with it in those teens all day today and we're talking about those colder temperatures across the Rockies. They're looking at several feet of snow while off to the northeast a larger storm dumping about 20 inches about three inches an hour across the entire east coast. Now we're watching a bigger storm push in from the west that could cause a little bit of rain here in the Concho Valley because we're still dealing with a lot of that drought due to El Nino and it's pretty strong across the entire region. We're going to watch a lot of this moisture spike up by about Thursday. Wednesday is going to be a good setup but we could see some more increasing moisture but right behind it again cold dry air and that's exactly what we're dealing with as you see that cold dry air really pushing in from the west kind of clearing those clouds up as this storm up to the north really not going to impact us a whole lot but it could meet up with some of this moisture making its way across the south leading into that bigger storm off to the east dumping all that snow but we really have our eye pointed off to this storm as soon as it kind of starts to fill a little bit it's going to find its way across the Rockies and dump its way across the Concho Valley. This is that huge storm we were watching last week now it's this massive storm pushing off to the east giving everybody a little bit of travel trouble but this ridging right across the four corners that's what's going to warm us up by Thursday as soon as that storm right behind it pushes through that could cause us that huge drop in temperatures but it's only going to push us back into the 60s from those 70s now as that wind starts to pick up from the southwest that's where we're going to see those temperatures really start to spike but you can see that cold dry air right behind it now we get a good idea of what that's going to look like in the future cast as far as cloud cover is concerned you're going to see them push out by about Tuesday maybe a couple high clouds but you can see a good amount of moist air hanging out there to the south that's going to push up with that storm and then see some cloud cover pushing by Wednesday that's what's going to really warm us up and then you see that storm start to form across the four corners look how much moisture comes up with it now my model runs out you can kind of see where we're in that spotty little pocket but you can see a lot of snow making its way across New Mexico and then Panhandle dealing with it that's giving us a good idea how much moisture is going to be with it now it'll get more accurate as the days get closer of course that model data always oh, changing around that 10 o'clock hour but tonight we're dropping down into those 30s that cold weather definitely here December is here as we start to wrap up that last week of November then tomorrow clouds clearing out could get up into those 60s but it's going to struggle to get there that cold air definitely pretty strong as it continues to make its way off to the east from that west hopefully those warmer temperatures make us here by Thursday of course we'll be dealing with those 70s windier conditions hopefully our fingers are crossed for some moisture from this drought and that's going to take us back down into those 60s with that cold front you see those 30s then push back up into those 40s as we make our way towards that first weekend of December believe it or not but we're going to be hanging out in those 60s while we stay in those 40s stay tuned we'll have more up at the break you're watching KCN News at 10.